Hello everyone and welcome to another Computer Software is Your Friend tutorial. Today I will show you how to use the new calendar app in Windows 8. So to start we're going to open the calendar app and as you can see we're, we open to a very clean look looking calendar which is your which is your planner essentially. And if you scroll through the months you of course can see that events are going to show up or holidays are going to show up as um, blocks on this calendar. Now you can view this any way you like. I like to view it by the month. You can also view it by the week. And you can view it by the day. Of course to get back to today you would right click and hit today. And uh, to get back to the month you would right click and choose month. To create a new event is very easy. Today we're the 20th, so I'll create an event tomorrow. This event is going to be called Test 1. And essentially from here, you can choose how long the event is going to be. You can choose what time it's going to take place at. We'll just say it's going to be at court 11.50... 11.45 a.m. and uh, you can type a location here you can add a message and you can show more options here you can set a reminder for a day before and you can set your availability and invite people to join you and of course make it private or make it public depending on your options you can also change the calendar but uh, at the moment I only have this calendar so once this is done you hit save and you are you're gonna see that it's gonna show up right here now if you go to the start screen you're gonna see that this test event that I've made will show up in the live tile there as your notification so if ever you start out the computer and you don't know what you have to do in the next few days or in the next week or something you can use this app for that because it will show you a nice setting here and as soon as you're, it's about to start it's going to give you a notification so deleting this event is very easy although I'm not going to do that for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the 21st where I'm going to be allowed to make another event but that's not what I want what I want to do is I want to see tomorrow and you're going to see that it's going to show the block right here like so. That's what I wanted to show you. So now deleting this event or editing it is very simple. You can rename it, add some more numbers, press save and as you can see it will update on the start menu right away. To delete this event is very simple. You hit the trash can option and you press delete. That's pretty much it, friends. Um, this is the calendar app. Let me know what you think in the description below. Do you think it will help you stay organized? Do you think it will help you remember events that you are likely to forget? Um, let me know, comment section is below. And like usual, if you like the content, subscribe button is above and the social media stuff is below don't forget that you don't only get the youtube channel and the social media you also get the blog which features a lot more content because not everything we put on the blog tutorials and articles and whatnot not everything that we put there has an including has a video included so bear that in mind so do subscribe and like us in our social media what is there to lose um, hopefully you like this video uh, if there's anything else you want me to present to you in a video or anything rather you just let me know comment sections below you can also uh, message me via uh, social media and until the next video this has been another computer software is your friend tutorial